what it is, man. This is the green room. Mickey D and Mr. Gemini on the mic in a warm up to a show about nothing. Where people think I'm from there when I wear that t shirt and do stupid things. I'm just repping from a state. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? I, I mean, hey man, it's the green room. It's the green room. Yeah. We just hit we just hit play or record. We, we should not hit play. You hit play. We hit record. <laughs> you hit play. Uh, your says record. <laughs> <laughs> not this guy, it's the- Welcome to the it's green room. Where we imagine the unimaginable, and then we try to talk about it. I mean, we drink beers, and then... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And then shit happens. <laughs> what happened was... I was drinking beer. And then... I did not get Chinese food. And then... No, and then. <laughs> That's Dude, what I wanted. Didn't I play the song for you? I think I played the song for you, didn't I? That track where the guy just does and then and uses it for his rhyme, the uh, high and mighty. I don't know. You have to play it for me again. I can't. Oh, man. I'm just saying. And then? Dude, it's... Uh, here, I'll pull up the lyrics. How about that? Check it. What's up? We can do this shit. You so know just know in I mean? case they were wondering, you know, Mr. Gemini. Dude, that, this is your fucking gig, dude. No, I'm just, oh, you right, know. Hold on gonna softball it in let's finish it out you know mr gemini philly d clickety clack a fact check of mr jd and this is the well i can't i can't keep saying the warm-up to the show about nothing because i say that in the intro sure you can i can say whatever i want or whatever this is a. you don't look at don't look at what I'm doing. This is what I why not? No, that's not Air it. Force One. See, this is why I can't do this shit. Oh, what Jesus. Are you, were you rocking a wiki right now? Yeah. Air Force One. That's the name that's the uh, name that's of the album. I'm trying to figure out what the name of the song is, but this is why we can't. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's why we the have name of the song. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know what the name of the song is. It's um it's on their uh it's high in the high in the mighty. Um it's on Air Force One. Is the name of the album. The track is, I think it's called And Then. I want to say, I feel like they're ironic enough to do that. <laughs> um, but I was trying to pull up the, uh, the, the lyrics to it so that, because we can't exactly play it. However, <laughs> however, I mean, I feel like she can rap. Just nobody. All right, cool. Apparently, <laughs> I'm the only one that thinks you can rap. Uh, um. I mean, I can if I know the word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. I don't. John. Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> His name was my name too. <laughs> and the second verse is not the same as the first. <laughs> When Sorry, you got me lost now. I don't even. Do people always shout. What? <laughs> it's not <laughs> the high and the mighty. Yeah, the high and the mighty is the name of the group. Uh, mighty Mai and um, um, oh god, Eon. They're from 1954. Dude, you can't, you're gonna you're gonna try to get us banned here, bro. Stop it. What the hell are you doing over there? Turn that off. I don't think this is giving me anything that I want. What? You've already gotten us a, a freaking mark from before. Come on. That's enough. We only oh, get three. Is it a movie? Bring that up, really? Well, What's up? You're the, you can't do that shit. And What's then? up? What's um, up? Is uh, it in a movie? Yeah. No, no, no. It's, um, the group is called The High and the Mighty. So you go to like uh, The High and the Mighty uh, wiki. No, I was looking up the scene yeah. and then from Dude, Where's My Car? Yeah, I know. We can't. We can't. I was looking up both of That's them how you and it came up with like John Wayne's The Coolest Scenes. Hmm. No, I guess put music group like, or something. Not... Well, apparently The High and the Mighty is a film. 
Oh. Yeah, but it, <laughs> okay. I don't know. We've, we've just totally, totally derailed. The, I don't, what would you, welcome to the green room. I've tangent. Yeah. I can't tangent any further. I mean, I can. I got to be here. Well, this, I'm, this, I'm all this, geared this up, ready for tangenting. I mean, zero plus zero. Did you see zero. that Albert Einstein's new show zero coming out? Zero. He's dead. How can he have a no, new show? No, there's a new... It's a docu series. <laughs> it's called To Infinity. Oh, it's on. on it's on him, not... Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. I'm going to have to get back to you on this one. What? Nothing's pulling up other than a movie. Oh, hold on. A 1953 you. song. Someone should be talking. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm looking up. He's you're, looking you're, for the song. You're now. Yeah. Doing with, do you really? Dude, so talk. I, you, but, and there was this, and we were having a, and then, and then you just, and now don't we have. All right, here we why go. Why can't we, isn't it just. Would you, would you just. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. All right. It's and called, then, and then. All right, a so. Skit. Let's do then. So that's, and I uh, typed in the high and mighty song with and then, and the only things that came up was movies. Hmm. Yeah, here you go. It, All right. I'm not going to play it. Let's hear your rapping skills. Oh, I am not going to rap this for shit. No. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, um, here you go. You can, you can see it for yourself. They're fucking hilarious, man. What is it? I'm just going to read while I'm on air. Yeah, well, I mean, why not? Yeah, it's because um, he literally walks into a um, a restaurant, like a Chinese restaurant. So he's up here and it's like, yes, yes, I'm uh, just a table for one. Hmm. And then, yeah. Yeah, this MC addicted to MSG, so just sit my ass down with a menu and tea. First, I don't want chicken wings and deep fried batter. And then bring me uh, one of those small poo poo platters. And then I, I kill you, hun, if you spit in my food. And then my next shit resembles some egg drop soup. And then sp- <laughs> since your beef is tougher than Teflon. And then bring me some of your spicy eggplant Szechuan. And then I'll get some chicken <laughs> with orange 11. And then, no, no, scrap that. I'll have the number 11. And then I'm going to, I'm kind of dung now i for a, oh what the sorry i'm gonna dung now for for if i eat to kung pao and then hot and sour soup hit me like a gun blow and then, and then your dumplings will have me dumping <laughs> and, and then, then have me running from the chicken chunking and, and then because then, <laughs> then, like the then it's like and then that sounds, that sounds fun yeah, I would, I would like to listen to that at some. Yeah, point. that's it. Not, Don't make me look inside the kitchen, and then that's my whole now. order missing. Ain't nothing missing. I definitely want to be the and then hype man for karaoke of that song. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, right, right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bring me on a can of Coke, and, and then, then no fried wontons. I can't handle those. And then a f- <laughs> fork, knife, and duck sauce and chopsticks. And then more teeny little noodles, Miss. <laughs> won't you stop this? And then I just want to sit down and eat the food. And then what's that you saying? Am I being rude? And then what's that? <laughs> when the rest is gone, past the wet naps. And then I'll be back tomorrow. You can bet that. And then no, I did. And then no, I did. And then no, I did. And that's what it does. That's fucking hilarious. No soup for you. Oh, uh, that shit is dope as fuck. It's like one of the hottest tracks ever. It's like the dumbest shit, and it's fucking hilarious. It's so well done. It's like when rappers do like they have to do the uh, the different challenges where so they got to do the alphabet. You know what I mean? The five fingers of death. Dude, that that's kind of what, shit. That's what brings it though. Like the different theme to the song is right? what you know. I mean, school's out for summer, man. Freaking Alice Cooper wrote that because somebody asked him, it's like, what's the greatest three minutes in any human's life? He's like the three minutes before the bell rings. Right. Just watching them. I like, I ain't got shit to do. Come on, come on. Come on, keep going. Come on, come on. <laughs> school's out.
out. And it's just like you're tearing through. Because what was that uh, Dazed and Confused when all the kids are like piling out of the school? Yeah. Because all the, the soon-to-be freshmen are running because they don't want to get hazed. So they're like hopping each other's bikes for them and like <laughs> running into cars and like ducking out. Oh, it's just hilarious. Word. So. Um, you know, so I was talking to this cat about the music show, right? Mm-hmm. And I was kind of giving an overview of like where I just come up with shit and like how just like my brain works and all this stuff. And before I even get a chance to say I'm going to do this, he's like, dude, you should totally do that. And I was like, oh, I'm going to. And he's like, oh, what was that? And I was just like, an all movie music soundtrack. And he's just like, yeah, that'd be great. I was like, yeah, I know. It's in the works. And then? I mean, I'll play it and it'll be dope and everybody will like it. And then? Then I make another one because, you know, I just like making music and then? shows. <laughs> <laughs> and then I throw some shit at you for your sixty seventh concussion, and then and then that's all he'll ever say. <laughs> Thank you. That'll be all he ever you says. You gotta do the voice. And then, oh, no, and then. I feel like that's its own puppet. It's just gonna pop up out of nowhere with just and then the Chinese lady, and then. <laughs> I feel like that would be inappropriate. Yeah. It was and <laughs> and then. <laughs> I mean, feelings are great, but you know what does what does that mean? I don't understand. I think I think make a whole skit out of it. It's puppets, bro. Word and then. <laughs> no, for real. I've been farming the idea out to a bunch of my like friends and shit, and telling them what's what, and like painting a couple of sketches for them. Dude, and I want to see that show, dude. And pretty much every single one of them all reacted the same way. I want to fucking watch that. That sounds awesome. Yo, and then I just I just went off like right before like when we were talking outside that wouldn't it be great to get sponsored or something? By like, like puppets.com or something. Puppets.com some shit? where you can like dial in exactly what kind of puppet you want. Dude. And like basically have them sponsor us and send us shit. That's what I'm saying. And like if we get really successful, like after a year or something, like our sales are through the roof because of our, our ads or whatever. We're like we're like puppet pimps. <laughs> that that we could get like uh we could get like a, a handmade like we just send them our measurements and they just like send out like like life-size puppet suits yeah so we can so we can be puppets doing puppets yeah and the name of that show would be we're puppets bro <laughs> so wait a minute <laughs> if i'm wrong but <laughs> it has to be on you're Okay. <laughs> Let me get this straight. <laughs> what you're saying is, well, I like your idea I'm for a, the, the intro to the show. I'm too. a human in a puppet costume fisting another puppet. <laughs> yes. It's very okay. ironic, isn't it? Just, just so I, just clear. I have a meat suit and a puppet suit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a, that's an accurate statement. <laughs> Inside of another puppet suit. It sounds really uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel, I feel like it depends on which puppet you are. I'd, I also feel like we'd have to record this it's in the wintertime. It's cheating if a little spoon. <laughs> yes. You see me a t-shirt. That is accurate. <laughs> <sighs> what do we say? Just a picture of a spoon or... No, it's you have to be. It's a little spoon with a cup of tea because it's a T-shirt, and then it says it's not cheating if you're the little spoon. <laughs> pinkies out. I don't know what that means. Tea, pinkies. Out. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> don't look at me like that. Look, I got two daughters. You know what I mean. Play what? tea. You no, know. well, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes a bragger, bro. <laughs> what are you better than me? <laughs> oh, it's your bush. But yeah, no, we um the uh, the uh, intro to the show. I was thinking of it first as like a commercial, but now I've like rethought it out. Where I think it makes it a, a better intro for the show. So there's like a couch with a puppet watching a TV show, which is the puppets. And then another like puppet, you know, his buddy sits down next to him and he's just like, what are you watching, bro? It's puppets, bro. 
Yeah, I get that. It's puppets, but what what are you, what are you watching? It it's puppets, bro. I I get that there's puppets. What is the show called? It's puppets, bro. And then you like dip into the TV where it's like it cuts into the first episode, which was his idea, which I thought was dope. Right. Okay. Are we talking like sock puppets like that? Or are we talking with like arms and legs to carry things? I mean, it depends. Because like, you, I mean, that's I'd the like, thing is we can have a, con- a complete selection of puppets. I'd like to get like the real like, foam but that's what I was saying like to begin with we can just do this shit with like yeah like one of them Johns that's what he wants yeah on the, on the low budget side heck yeah yeah your standard okay. like puppet with like the big hey he's only face. $35 on Amazon mm. dude he's like ah. <laughs> well I'm just saying for a price range that's not too bad no no that's not like a for real puppet is probably gonna cost quite a bit that's why all oh, the shits with like Jeff Dunham and stuff, man. Those are like hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Is, is there even he a makes puppet them himself, com? man? It's like yeah, but there's like controls in those things too. Nowadays, yeah, but I got to check into this. Is there actually a puppets.com? Is there? A, if not, we're gonna do it. <laughs> this has to be a thing. It's ours now. Somebody has to own that. Do you, bro? Do you, if I were to look this up, or somehow, is there is there a company oh, called It's Puppets, bro? Oh my God, Did anybody look this up yet? Hold on. I just had a brilliant idea. So, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> Christian listening. Side Hug. Christian Side Hug. It's going to be a camp counselor. Oh, perfect. This is, this well, is yeah, but it's like a, yeah, young Ned Flanders, right? That's what I'm thinking for him. All right, now I want to see. It's it. like Ned Flanders when he's 19 before he's gone mm-hmm. away and experienced life. Maybe that's why Ned Flanders becomes Ned Flanders even harder because he's just like suppressing the memories. Dude, what the heck? What do you do? do you just, I'm having a conversation with myself over here is what's happening. Two of you are like no. researching. What is what is going on I'm here? Looking. No, that was a very accurate depiction. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like visualizing this. I'm like, yeah, that is big. Thank yeah, you. that would be... Ned Flanders is a teenager, pretty much as Christian Sidehug. Yeah, and then he has like, you know, because he lives with his cousin Buffalo Bill, he gets like super tainted and scarred, and that's why he's just like Oakley Doakley. Uh-huh. That's just it's the result of so much PTSD from Buffalo Bill. <laughs> is that, you think, that's what you see? I mean, the, the uh, overall outcome, like how, you know, Ned Flanders got to be, so this is where he started. Because this, uh, this is totally your baby. You got to do Two different characters that you can well, I mean, I guess one one is just a dramatized version of the real thing, but well, it's well, I mean, yeah, but again, him is like a nineteen year old too or something. So it's like while he's still trying to like fit into society and like get a job and stupid shit, and he just can't do it. But I love that even back then, like you know, little Bill, little Bill. <laughs> Just had issues with certain things like baskets and. But see, that's that's what I'm saying. Has that always been a thing, or? If at any time we go to do a flashback, could we do it like Wayne's World style? Cocoa butter. Oh, you can even do like our own like Batman, and like the screen spins out and shit. Do whatever. It's puppets, bro. Heck yeah, uh-huh. it's puppets, bro telling you <laughs> oh there's tons on i'm trying to i'm on. sorry i'm so silent i'm just i'm picturing all this in my mind right now it's gonna happen <laughs> this this will happen the puppets or your mind oh my <laughs> mind's already happening i can't really stop that where is my mind huh? <laughs> see it out in the water swimming because <clears throat> lord knows i've tried Oh, sorry. Over in left field. <laughs> the what? <laughs> right. Here we, what? Dude, whenever that's just, I'm just a fucking bust out Sims. This is just. <laughs> it kills me every time you do that. 
Well, I'm, I'm also animated too, doing like the basic sim, <laughs> you know, wiggle, like because it doesn't fully. <laughs> Yeah, I like can't the, even do it like you do. You knew not to like. Nobody knew not like you knew like, not, like, not, man. <laughs> Slap yourself. Bring the powder. <laughs> not yourself. What did the hand say to the face? No, what did the five hmm. fingers say to the, the face? Five fingers say to the face, see? Seven, three. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> I mean, if you would have at least finished it like hard. I would have given you for your like stick oh, in the, the landing. Stick in the landing, yeah. Yeah, man, that's what I, you always got to commit. You, you can mess up everything. If you stick the landing, getting a good score. If you do absolutely amazing and don't stick the landing, uh, got problems. Got to stick the landing, man. You, you've always said that too. Yeah, you got to you got to finish it off. Like you get a little a little speed bump in your in your routine. Doesn't just, matter. Just roll with it. Finish it hard. Just roll with it. Yeah. Right as a as a. That's a solid rule to follow. Dude, but that's like how I feel about life. Like no matter what you're then, doing, just ta-da. you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Do it to it and just finish it off. Like, yeah, I planned that. Even if you didn't, who cares? Shh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. I give mad respect for that. That's what I do. Like, you know, when you're walking along and you just trip on nothing and then you, you ever do that? You're walking along and you trip on absolutely nothing, like your own foot. Dude, I trip over my own shit all the time, and then like all the time. You ever look back at the at the say it's a tile floor or something? You look back at the last tile and you just kind of like rub it over with your foot and like oh, I guess there's nothing wrong with it, and then keep walking <laughs> as if like try to blame the floor. <laughs> like all of a sudden, what was that? And I was just, you know, it's like just over like, there, like basically caressing the floor with your foot, like, oh, there's got to be some kind of lump here somewhere, because I swear, I just tripped over that. Yeah, you know, like, these hiles are, like, like no, talking no. shit, and you'd be like, yo, bro, watch it, watch it, here he comes, he'd be like, oh, 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 and just ducked down. No, it was oh, my, brother no, said, you... my brother said that he did that once, and it was, like, in a, a Walmart or something like that. And, like, he did that. He, like, stopped, and he looked at the last tile that he stepped on, and he, like, rubbed it with his foot. And there was a guy watching him, and he goes, nah, dude. You tripped. I saw that. <laughs> I see you. Uh, I seen it. I seen like, it. He was like, huh? What? <laughs> what? No, it must have been some other guy. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm not even there. And then walked off in a hurry. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> <laughs> How you get fired? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. You should have brought more beers, man. You only brought two. Mm. That's so irresponsible of you. Would you almost finish yours already? Well, yeah. It's green room, bro. Oh, I hear you. Dude, how do you think you get the dancey to come, the, the dancey? How do you think you get the monkey out of the cage to make him dance? You know what I mean? That's if the monkey can even talk, but yes, absolutely. But that's the dude, so. With the symbol? Well, I mean, I'm, it's your, it's your circus. It's usually I'm food your and libations that really gets everything hmm. lubricated, yeah. everything moving. Yeah. Yeah. But we we definitely got cool stuff to talk to, to talk about tonight. I, to I feel to I feel that like <laughs> you can't talk. I can't either. talk, but it'll happen. It'll it'll happen. But dude, it's, it's only like it's not even first beer. Well, I'm gonna finish my first beer because. Well, you. I mean, dude, you don't have. Come on, I'm not trying to challenge you. Jesus. <laughs> just, don't make me spit this out. That does. Oh. That'd be. That's actually a really tasty beer. Yeah, man. I tell you what, dude. I was doing some. I just saw a mosquito. Uh oh. Um. Wait. <laughs> I know. Wait, if you see it on. Okay. I was like, if you see our. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. Backstory. Miss JD got some. Got a Venus flytrap. So she's hoping it'll get some food and munch on some stuff. If you see something, just, catch it and then throw it in there. Dude, I know. I was thinking, it's like, dude, she can see the mosquito on our side. I'm like, how big is that mosquito? <laughs> no. Why can't we see it? Is, <laughs> is it behind me? It just flew over all of them. And I was like, yes. And then it just kept going. And- He's like, yeah, I know what you guys are. Fooled me once. <laughs> lost a leg. It's puppets, bro. I'm just still, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking about that. It's puppets. Bro. I can't. Yeah. So I need names for all of them because I technically have eight of them. 
So keep that in mind, future eat, reference. Eat what? Venus flytrap. Oh, I thought we were talking about puppets. I was just like, I, I haven't named any of the puppets except for, I guess, two or three of them now. We'll have to get a Morgan Freeman puppet that look, doesn't look like Morgan Freeman. Okay. This is not Morgan Freeman. It just doesn't even look like him. So it, it, well, if I could do his voice. Found but one. Never tried. We can, we can dress him up as like Nelson Mandela or something instead. I mean, can Hilarious. you can you do Morgan? <laughs> I mean, what are we talking about? I mean, can you do Morgan? I'm just saying. What you look like? <laughs> Morgan Friedman. Um, I honestly have never attempted to do his voice, and yeah, you'd have to do some studying. Uh, I mean, yeah, it would take some effort. Don't even know if it'd be good either. <laughs> I could try. Shawshank is the like first thing that comes to mind because he did like the whole narration. Andy Dufresne. He did narration for a lot of things, but you like that, everything. that one just stuck with me because it was just classic, you know. He's got a great storytelling voice. He could just be he talking could, about going to the grocery store and what he had to pick out and Dude, isn't that what the comedian does? You'd be Where totally he's just talking fascinated. about like the most mundane things, but as like Morgan Freeman, in, in, you're just like, no, entertaining just, way. I, just, I want to listen to this. <laughs> yeah, I was watching this one movie well, where- They didn't have my brand of, of eggs when I went to the store. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to look around and then Dude, there's a, there's I a, found them. There's a movie with Morgan Freeman and uh, Jonah Hill. If you could look this up, please. Um yeah, Morgan Freeman, Jonah Hill. Um, oh God, what's her? Paz Vega. I think Paz Vega is in it also. There's there's a few people. It's actually a pretty decent cast, but um, he's an actor. He's like he's so he's Morgan Freeman, but he's he's uh, what do you, what do they call it? Uh, studying for a role? So he's uh, he's he's shadowing a manager of a little hole in the wall grocery store in the middle of like the ghetto basically i mean it's not like 10 items or less yeah 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 that's it super dope movie um but he's getting dropped off by jonah hill who's who's basically like um an assistant so he's just driving him to the spot and then he's supposed to pick him up later or whatever else and then he's telling him he's like yeah he's like i got i got this book on tape that you uh that you did and he's like i never i never did that book He's like, oh, no, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. No, it's you. It's you. And then, you know, he, he like pops the tape in the deck and starts playing it. It does not sound like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> it does not. I mean, it's somebody who's trying to do Morgan Freeman. So it's like, but, but it's, it's terrible. Like, it's not, it's not terrible, but it's not, not terrible. And Morgan Freeman's sitting there listening to it. And he's like, that's, that's not me. And it's like you can. It's like you know it's not him because it doesn't sound like him. But you can. They're they're attempting the mannerisms and uh, you know tone and inflection and. But I mean, yeah, that that would be cool. Have Morgan do like your voicemail message or. <laughs> like Mister Gemini is not home right now. How you awesome. leave your name and you. Know, it's like I don't know. There you go. Just saying. Yeah, I can't do Morgan Freeman. I'm I'm not. Should we work on that? No. Um, Just let it flow. We should work on more beers. Yeah, definitely. Is what I'm reminding me of that. That's I my uh, my suggestion for for the time being. <laughs> and then food. Definitely food. Like yeah, that's on break food. though, bro. You got to earn that shit, right? Well, what's beer is free. Food is going to cost you. <laughs> <laughs> what do I got to earn? What's going on? Hey, 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 put put that little dress on. Get on the corner. Go. Oh, not right now. We're recording, man. <laughs> That's why it's important. Go, go. They're looking for you. Bro. Bro. <laughs> what you talk to you? <laughs> no, did I tell you um, my daughter will use that term? What, bro? Yeah, you were telling me about that. And it's like every time she says it, I say it. She's like, yo, bro. And I'm like, bro. I mean, she's she's not talking to a guy. 
Yeah, that's what they're bras. Dudes are bros, chicks are bras. Like, yo, bra. <laughs> that's a girl. I'm just saying. It's the Cali it's like, influence. No, it's, the, it's, it's Latin. It's like why in Italian and Spanish and like there's different endings it's for so it's masculine and feminine. <laughs> It's from its source. It's demented and sad, <laughs> but social. It's what? what? I don't know. You need to run it's interference because I'm gonna go get beer. It's like you're going far. Are you gonna get in the car? Are you gonna far, drive? Far in the Harvard Yard. Are you? <laughs> is there good? Near. I can still far, see you. Wherever you are. He went into the. He's. He's in the fridge. He's rummaging. He's pulling off beers. I can hear a click. Another one. <laughs> Things are good. He's coming back. I can see him. And here he is. And he's you home. Yeah. You're supposed to be talking mad trash about me right now. I don't have to talk trash. It, it's my opportunity if I'd like to talk trash. That's why I said you're supposed to be. Not, not you have to. You're supposed to be. <laughs> There's a difference. But I can't do it when you expect it. Yeah, you can. It's still funny. Oh, I don't know, bro. It's always funny, bro. I don't know, bro. Always want the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I'm unconscious, wake me up. I want if the tea. If I said I wanted tea and then you started making tea, and then by the I time it was asleep. ready, I had fallen asleep, wake me up. I still want tea. I always want tea. If you make tea for somebody else and they don't want it, I'll take their tea. I always want the tea. <laughs> it's yeah. wow. I mean, because the first one was like was a good like life lesson. What do you call it? Um, Social. Would you? Is that actually was that actually for the <laughs> a part, PSA almost part of uh, <laughs> part of the marine training or something? You were saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In one unit, that's what they were using <laughs> to. Um, I love how she said "unit." The one unit. Because that's what it's called. That's what it's called. It's called a unit. Um, we're talking about the consent with the unit. Yeah, they were. That's how they were teaching the junior marines. Hey. Hey -oh. Hey -oh. <laughs> yeah, I could hang a towel with that thing by using put a hat. I mean, it's out. very clear and accurate. I mean, I think so. Yeah, very, absolutely. as well as uh, absolutely hysterical. It is absolutely hysterical, and then it's all acted out in these like stick figures, like stick figure drawings. Yeah, you know, like the old Volkswagen commercials or some shit. Just lovely, dude. That's the dope shit. How hard would it do to? How hard would it be to do a stick <laughs> a stick figure drawing cartoon? I mean, it's a piece of paper, so I'm gonna say pretty hard to do it. You'd have to like take the paper and then. Doesn't want to fold and well, to talk about it. to be able to make video content, but anyway. But dude, that's what I was saying with the puppets, bro. We can do it with freaking sock puppets because who gives a shit? Like it can be pencil drawings. Like we can have sock puppets with freaking, you know, yarn for hair and googly eyes and shit. Fucking who gives a shit? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. No, that's I'm telling you. That's what we're saying. It's puppets, bro. It's puppets, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you. Plus it the, will happen. Plus the merchandising. Spaceballs, the, the cereal. Spaceballs, the lunchbox. It is only Spaceballs, a matter of time. Spaceballs, the flamethrower. Keep keep tuning in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but see, in the now, now, because this is like when somebody's hearing this and Puppets Bros out is like three years from now, which is now, now. So it would already have been. And like we, we're, we're already like puppet pimps and tycoons and make all our puppet money. <laughs> I got puppet money, I mean, bro. I, I like I like where your head is at. I'm just saying. Wow. I got monopoly okay. money. I got puppet money, bro. Fuck yeah, I got puppet money. But I'm all about the sponsorship idea because I would totally do if the, if there was such a thing as like a. But see, if there isn't puppets.com, then we should make puppets.com so then we can sell our own puppets. So well, and that's what I was looking up. It looked I like puppets.com had some was some totally other. Like yeah, a financial no, business up. or something. No, it wasn't anything like nefarious. Well, maybe nefarious, but um, maybe not <laughs> scathological. 
No, that's such. that's just the front. You have to like click the button on the bottom right of the screen with your with your right. You got to right click it, and then it gives you options, and then it loads the. And real then you got to agree that you're over the age of twenty one. <laughs> no, then you have to you have to give them a blood oath. <laughs> and your consent to tea. And your consent, you'd be like, you will drink the tea. Oh God, I like tea. <laughs> Um, there's a website I just found. I'm actually going to send you the link, but it's called sillypuppets.com and they legit have silly puppets. Silly. Like P H I W L Y, Philly. No, like silly, you silly goose. Oh, silly, S I L L Y. Which rhymes with And they have different size puppets and you can dress them and change them and they literally have like all these different characters to suit almost every need. You know the ones with the shaped foam faces and stuff like that's what I was thinking like a real a real good like a ventriloquist puppet you know with like clothing that's been tailored just for them like a little cute outfit like that guy? or some shit. Like that guy? Yeah one of those things. Yeah. Yeah, so I was telling you earlier. That's yeah. the that's the one he likes. They have a lot more. It, I like, just uh, sent you the link for him. Word looks more human. Yeah, I mean, it looks like, more expressive. More, yeah, we're, you know. yeah, I wasn't say well, um, like a caricature. Well, that's what I was going for. Yeah, and then exaggerated, we gotta out, and and then we got to figure out what. Um, see, I'm thinking, what was uh, DC what, Follies? What Christian? Well, I think Christian would be fairly easy to figure out. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course he is. Do you uh, you remember uh, the show DC Follies where it was like all puppets mm-hmm. from the eighties? Like Big those kind of those kind of puppets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's puppets, bro. DC Follies. And I know there's got to be a company out there that's online that does that. Yeah, that was a show. I want to say late eighties, right? Eighty six, eighty eight, eighty seven, eighty seven. Okay. Wow. Yeah. They're like, okay, they remind me of like the Nixon masks. Yeah, well, because they were very... But puppets. Yeah, because they were very realistic where they okay. were actually making each one of them look very much. Like they were going after looking like those individuals. So they well, were, I mean like like very much cartoony on... Yeah, yeah. As if it was a caricature that they then turn into a puppet. Like from like Muppets looking puppets, you know what I mean? Like of real people though, but of real people, not yeah, like, like Gandhi, not Reagan, dogs Bush. Or, you know, like every, it was like the SNL of puppets, or the yeah, puppets of SNL. Like, I don't know. What it somewhat was. realistic, but still, they like look a like the Mad way. TV guy, like the with right. the carved oh, yeah. faces. I mean, yeah, from Mad Magazine, that dude. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Caricature, where like you know, you exaggerate the. Like when you go to the boardwalk, they're like, "Would you like me to draw you?" And then they like all misproportion you and shit, and put you on a pony or something, or like your skateboard or playing baseball, whatever the fuck <laughs> you're into. What, well, dude? I'm well, not here to judge. Whatever you're into, is, you know what I mean. Like, well, it's gonna have to be whatever it is. Also if, dancing. If we, whatever the companies that we find, whatever kind of puppets they make, I guess it'll just. But yeah, I mean, I suppose we could start off early shows by just using sock puck puppets and stuff that we have around the house like why not but that's what i'm saying that's why i was like you even like stick figures you know consent videos Should and shit I start like working just, on one with a sock puppet i don't know if i want to see your sock puppet <laughs> why doesn't it fold dude <laughs> oh bro where was it uh what was that line what like, don't mom don't touch that sock oh wasn't oh what was that from it was one of the american pie not uh, like no it's a newer movie um oh man i need some food that's what happened i, just, <laughs> I told you gotta earn that shit bro you gotta earn that <laughs> we got like at least another 20 minutes before you can get anything out of me ew that's what I'm saying. You gotta earn this. Can't just come up here all big bang and a boop. Hey, if you want this, you're gonna have to earn it. If you want, as he gestures yeah, toward himself. No, you want me. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm like speechless. <laughs> you vote me. <laughs> <laughs> I vote <love> me. <laughs> Bro. But, but as a kid. But it's, whoa, as a kid. Whoa, whoa, no, no. whoa. It's the same guy, but as a kid, that's, well, that's yeah, the so whole concept yeah. you have for, for Bill. Yeah, but he's like, yeah, 19, still figuring himself out, even though he's kind of set in his ways. And he's a bit awkward. But that's what I was saying. Is like that's why he, um, you know, he can't. He's trying to, you know, get a job, but he can't. He can't go to school because he doesn't like the way school is. Like he just can't. You so know, he, he has can't like, assimilate to society. He, he's got like rocker hair, like right. I mean, like long. Like, I mean, <laughs> like you know what I mean, like hair metal type. Yeah, not like super you know? long, but yeah, you know, below his chin, but you know, choppy kind of. Yeah, like almost like gothy emo punker. Well, and that works for his little tuck dance that he does too. <laughs> because he can like roll it over the other way and it like covers his, you know, half of his face. Like, uh, what's you know what the, I'm talking about. Yeah, the guy like uh, J- uh, Boy George or whatever looking almost. Right, right. <laughs> Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> Be like all prissy about it and like a prom dress or some shit. <laughs> Trying to squeeze his cleavage all together. <laughs> Making kissy faces at the mirror. That'd be freaking hilarious. Oh my God, that movie was so disturbing. But that, oh that, it, that's, that's the weird dichotomy of that whole situation though is for such a freak, a freaky movie, like one of the ones that, I mean, seriously give you nightmares like if you really watch that movie intensely. And... Every time I hear that voice, it just makes me want to laugh. It's just like <laughs> the weird dichotomy of that. And like, I don't understand how that can exist, but that's just, I guess, that's the nature of reality right there. I think because it, it goes to the irony of the fact of as soon as you hear his voice, you're like, I don't know what he did, but that guy is guilty. He did it. That dude right like, there. Like, how did you not know? Oh, can dude. I help you? Like, dude, creep factor. Like, just... <laughs> Literally. Right off the meter, dude. If I if I'm one of the cops, I just, I'm turning to my partner and I'm just like him, him, cuff him now. Yeah, just I don't. Yeah, just get him. Go, go. Maybe, yeah, I don't know what he did. We're but, gonna figure this out later, but you did something. Yeah, and it was nasty and unforgivable. <laughs> oh, I just wanted it in the basket. <laughs> oh, I've, I've got a frozen pizza in the oven. <laughs> oh, I got tea on the stove. I was making margaritas. <laughs> you smell muffins. <laughs> you smell muffins. And he just like keeps going and going. Oh, I'm that telling was the you. Best. But see, that's what I'm saying. Is like we can actually like we can redo sets of that movie as if it was for real, and you know, and progressively too. So you can put them in those kind of scenarios and just like with puppets. Yeah, well, with puppets, bro. I'm telling you, dude, that's that's the thing with the puppets. The puppets is like... So there's really no limit to anything. Dude, the sky this. is not even a limit. It's puppets, bro. So it'd be... It w- it'd be situational skit comedy with like the same... It would be a show was- about nothing with puppets. That's... Ex- that, wow. Bro, but bro, because it's just an extension of us, but with puppets, bro. Because now it's funny. That's all I was like saying. We can do sketches of us where puppet, we're just like. Puppet Seinfeld. Yeah, but better. But better. Okay. Yeah. No Snoop. No Snoop Nazi. We would have like a Snoop Nazi instead. That'd be funny. Because that would be like so ironic. A Snoop Nazi? Yeah. The guy's like, no Snoop for you. <laughs> He's just sitting back and it's just like, hey, baby. I mean, you know, I just. Will do, nephew. And he's just like sitting there chilling. He's like the. He's the the guy that screens. Okay, to we'll, we'll have to talk about that. I'm see if so you sure. can see uh, Snoop Dogg or not. I'm not so sure I can visualize that right now. I don't. Think you guys, there's a lot to take in at the moment. It is going to be honest is. with you. It is. I'm I'm trying to work for it, man. But <laughs> I'm just spitballing here. I don't. <laughs> I didn't say it was going to be good. Just, just yeah. To what that we talks and stuff. So. Yeah. No. Seriously, it's well because that's the thing is like. The, all the sketches and everything else that we've been talking about and the things that we would use if like for us to to give the visual to because you know there's obviously you know we only do audio but if because now you could actually do like green room segments 
full well, of that's puppets. The, that's the thing because like what we do is kind of dialogue driven. So that would be it would be interesting to see if you could act that out with puppets. But that's what, no, because there's either I mean, even the idea like we were we were thinking about is just like basically taking an old reel that we've done and just playing it back and doing the puppet recording that. Yeah, when we, you know, when we talked about something for three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, whatever, where we actually had a somewhat of a conversation, instead of taking the snippet of that conversation, which is only audio, now we can add video to it and give it a whole thing. So now we can actually, you know, dramatize it. And then we got, you know, fucking puppets, bro. It'll happen. Because now that, that but it that opens will. up green room, because while we won't ever video anything in the green room because this is a sacred space this is tree of trust here this is absolutely doesn't yeah. mean that we're not going to reenact it with puppets bro word but that's what i'm saying like now we have like there is so much more viable material that we already have just to start running episodes with it oh so you know um you know i occasionally i have an affiliation at, at work with um free will do you okay. know this I, was, I mean, I feel like you probably deal with quite a few brewers because, I mean, you know, you guys like sell stuff for people who brew and things. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, just, so I would assume that, yeah. Uh, and I, did, man, I just totally lost my chain of thought. This is just too busy name dropping to remember. I'm, well, nothing wrong with that. Well. Free will. Free will makes some good beer. I, do, I didn't say anything about that. You said I just totally lost my head right now. I'm sorry. Sixty six times. In That's the, well. I'll fall I'll, every time. I'll fall back on that. I am lucky to be able to stand and walk and talk and chew gum at any point in time, <laughs> let alone together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's good that we can laugh about that, man. You know what I mean? Like, I well, I mean, what's the, What's the other option? To get laughed at because I'm still going to, I'm laughing no, I mean, for you. You can either laugh or, or you can cry. I mean, take your pick. I mean, I like laughing so hard that I'm crying. That's much better. I, I is, that, is that, that a thing? Can I, can I is like, that my does choice? That, does that mean I've now dealt with this? Or? Is, that a, is that allowed? <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good. I, I mean, on a psychological stop. level, I mean, have you actually dealt with it? Oh, what did our dude yeah, say? I just say? laughed at myself. You, you know? should do cocaine for that. <laughs> what? I, what? Yeah, it's just it's the fear that's fixed for everything. Oh, I'm a sh I got a shaman's license. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got this weird rash. Yeah, cocaine. Oh, okay. <laughs> My wife won't leave me alone. Cocaine. Um, for for me or yes. <laughs> what? I don't know what's what. Like, could you imagine, like, if that's all it was back in the day as a doctor? Oh, my God, a double dose. Yeah, it was just people come in left and right. You're just like, mm, Cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah, I got this uh, lesion on my finger. Cocaine. I I didn't even think. Cocaine. Um, Is that for me, or do you, do you need some right now? I don't, my finger's oh. bleeding. Could you, could you help me? No. No? Cocaine. Cocaine. No, no, no. And then? Okay, okay. Cocaine. Damn. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the corner of fuck off and get a map. You see what I did? I just combined the two. And nice. then? Did you, did, you, did you see what I did there? Yes. Cocaine. Yes. I, I know about the finger goose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> I'm just going to put that away. <laughs> I'm just going to put that I'm sorry. <laughs> I have yet to see the new one. I, oh, I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, you know, uh, I don't, I don't know if I can do it. Like, I mean, I know I can, but do I really want to? <sighs> our I don't buddy, know. our buddy just dropped it on my um, drive at home, but it doesn't seem to be running very well right now. So, mm. I haven't been able to view it. Well, that reminds me, that saving grace disc is uh, yours. So, Grace has your copy. Word. Yeah. Well, if he returns it to you, I'll still get it. So it sounds like you're peeing in a cup right now. Don't talk. Don't talk. It makes it crawl back up. Wish I could get closer. 
Yeah, yeah. I think you should actually just pour it like a man. Just there you go. Pour it like a man. Let it slot. I will splash the pot. What the fuck I like? <laughs> that is an accurate statement. Good on you. Proper usage. Oh, so yeah. You yeah, you conjugated correctly. Do I get a star for pro- proper usage? I mean, Man. I'll give you a high five, maybe. Actually, it looks really good when you splash it like that. Got a nice little... It's got a nice head on it. Oh, and some great body. Looks like it really takes care of itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was fucking What kind dope. of lotion does kidding. it use? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you like cocoa butter? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I was talking about. You see, I feel like him getting fired from like Bath and Body Works or what's what's I the other like one? I feel like that would be a hilarious episode. Is that what that one's called? Right? No. What's the what's the one in the wall with where it's like just the candles and shit? Is that is Yankee that, Candle? No, no. Just the candles. Oh no, I'm thinking just of Bed, Bath and Body. No, no, no. no I was mixing it up Bath, with Bed, Bath, Bath and, and body. Beyond, but yeah, no Bath and Body. Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, because that no, that's the fucking. That was like cool. No, like, Bath and Body Works. You had it right. Yeah, and beyond, <laughs> beyond. <laughs> fucking Christopher Walken's got a remote to save you. This remote will help you when you need it. I mean, we might have to go to Home Depot too. I don't know if we'll have enough time. That's what I was thinking, but still. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I feel like the only place he could work would be like the uh, the Bath and Body Works. No, just, but I feel like that it's he like, got you know, fired yeah. because like he was creeping people out. But no, I would just you would have like that intervention with the the manager comes in. It's just like you know, Bill, your sales are great. We could but, really use a new stock, boy. No, it's like, but but we we just seem to be selling a lot of cocoa butter. We we have so many other brands. And we just <laughs> we'd really like you to try to push some of the other some of the other products if you could. You know, we're just. Not the a cocoa, cocoa butter, but the cocoa butter is the, butter's the best. best. <laughs> I know from experience. Oh, and see, and that's why he gets like fired is because he can't like fall in line. Oh yeah, there's apple and cinnamon, but there's cocoa butter. Oh, <laughs> Bill, sell the goddamn apple spice. <laughs> I don't want to get it off the damn shelves. I'm gonna put this in a basket. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. Like that could actually, like that's where he's like thriving, till that one manager comes in. And it was like, you know, just comes home that day, and Grandma's like, "What's the matter, Bill? Oh, I got fired again." He needs to just specifically be a, a cocoa butter salesperson. <laughs> You're right, door to door cocoa butter salesman. Uh, have you uh, heard about cocoa butter? <laughs> Could what? you imagine if he was Avon or Mary Kay? I just, oh my God. Avon, go With the pink Cadillac? Did you know it's even edible? <laughs> Why is, I don't know. Oh my God. I don't know. I just feel like that'd be funny. Yeah, you can get like the Mary Kay pearl pink, whatever that they do. <laughs> <laughs> but like on his 87 Toyota Tercel. <laughs> wow, you really thought this up. No, this is the shit that just comes to my head. This is how it works. You can't turn this off. This is the machine at work. This is the green room. I'm just that's telling how, you. That's how we roll. It's like a gift from God. I just they just keep coming. I can't I can't stop this. Is this true? Why would you say no to a rainbow? You know what I mean? Like double rainbow. Double oh, red. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Bird. But yeah, no, I was talking, I was talking to my neighbor about it's puppets, bro, and shit. Yeah. And he's just like, only you, man. He's like, I couldn't, I couldn't think of that shit. He's like, you're, you're, you, it's only you, man. You're, you're like on another level, man. It's like, you're so imaginative. I was like, this shit just comes to me. This is like, a- we're all here, but you're like, you're on another level. You're, we're like here. We usually like here. You're like, don't, nobody knows where the here's at. You know? I mean, I- <laughs> gotta paint the word picture. <laughs> what? I mean, I like you, man. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. <sighs> you should pull that out. Wait. Pull the out. <laughs> dart. There's a fucking dart in your neck. Oh, oh, I like you. You're crazy. I love before anything else, though, if, if you remember that scene, like, before anything else, 
He is like excited that he saw somebody shoot themselves in the neck. Yes! <laughs> you fucking stifler with a mullet and a freaking sleeveless jean jacket that's now a jean vest. He was totally stifler. I know. Dude, he was the, the flat top even. So it wasn't even like mullet. It was like flat top mullet. Like 80s, you know, loves white snake, freaking that kind of shit. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you want to call it that. Or yeah. Iron Maiden? What do you, I mean, what do you, you know, Jesus. I mean, I guess, yeah. Like, you going to get up my butt about this? I'm just saying. Like no sleeve concert tees, you know, ripped jeans. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. He was wearing, um, yeah, he was wearing a sleeveless. Joe Dirt style. Joe Dirt style. It's Deer Tay. It's Deer Tay. Don't try to don't try to church it up. <laughs> Dude, so I did another um top ten movies explained badly. And I did Joe Dirt. And my explanation for it was uh uh orphan travels the country, meets people, and gets the poo on them. <laughs> she just like literally dropped her head like, oh god. <laughs> Yeah, because there's the scene where he's got the freaking, you know, the the. He mis- really boils it down to like a quick little. Yeah, but you have to. Yeah. yeah dude, I also did Terminator. I wrote Terminator as two naked guys, a bunch of shooting, and the girl gets saved. <laughs> I feel like that could be like any action movie ever. Well, no, because it's very specific as Terminator is both of them, when they come back, they can't come back with any material belongings on them. Like they can only come back as the thing about physical naked entities. So they that. have to be naked. So both of them come back naked. Yeah. And you have to enter into that, like realizing they're all like, they're all like big hit movies when they came out. Well, yeah. Well, dude, it's, I mean, it's still it's like fucking all Terminator. Your, all your questions though. They're all movies like you would have seen. Yes. Yeah, Sandlot. Die Hard. I mean, I've done like the, I did Fight Club, uh, you know, Forrest Gump. I did a whole bunch. Yeah, because it's like the third one I've done now. Yeah, this one's, I did Ghostbusters. I was like, guys with lasers save a city. <laughs> that was that's, the one you got the quickest, which I thought was pretty hilarious. accurate. I mean, it yeah, pretty much. Seemed very straightforward, actually. But I mean, I couldn't call them proton accelerators. I mean, that would just give it away. Right. <laughs> lasers. Laser, these lasers, air quotes, call it the Alan Parsons project. Not really just a laser. No. <sighs> Is it too much it's, to ask? Get some freaking sharks with freaking lasers on their head. It's it's light and electromagnetic at the same time. It's you know? light so and it's it's on a different <laughs> level. You know what I'm saying? It's not You're like here <laughs> and they're like there. It's on a whole different level, man. Oh, Jesus Lord. Yeah, man. It's a- <laughs> you can tell it's getting close, isn't it? It it yeah, yeah. It totally is. Yeah. We need to finish this up. That's what she said. <laughs> Clean yourself up. <laughs> Get the hell out. Wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up, B. <laughs> Point at the fucking music box. I'm Cuban B. <laughs> yes, Cuban B. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> this has been another episode of the Green Room. Uh, brought to you by your loving friends, Mr. Gemini. At puppets.com. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> if there is such a thing at that. Uh, we need know. to look up it's puppetsbro.com. Because if, if if it's open, we need to claim that. It's Puppets Bro. It's PuppetsBro.com. It. It's PuppetsBro.com. Be like, hey, what's your email? Of? Uh, it's PuppetsBro.com. Okay. It's, Just go with it. Okay. I'd be like, yeah, no, it's, yeah. Shh. Shh. It's okay. <laughs> I just got <laughs> fucking Wayne Brady and the Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Where he like, Just shh. You no, know, he, he freaking grabs the one cop and he's just like, she won't find out about it. Snaps his neck and he just lays him down. And he goes, shh. <laughs> like he's just like some weird, sick killer sociopath, just meleeing people for the hell of it. Mm. I'm Wayne Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Run, bitch. I believe your domain is open. 
Ooh, I like it when you say it like that. Mm. <laughs> you have an open <laughs> domain. <laughs> I, I really like open domains. Dollars, it can belong to you. Oh, for real? It's for $12. Yeah, for a year. I really like open domains. Mm. On the domain, Google. All the domains. Open domain. You're an open domain. Dude, that sounds like a band name. LME. <laughs> <laughs> open domain. I think that is a band name. <laughs> I don't fucking know, but yeah, we should probably go. All right, word. I have to pay. I really had to pay. <laughs> Um, Must have done last thing, dang Dr. Barber. We already said our names again. No, Philly D. Mr. Gemini. Philly D. And Philly D. <laughs> Mr. Gemini. <laughs> My timing is impeccable. Oh, you kill me. It's the second beer, bro. I'm just All saying. Right. And as always, I'm telling you. Oh, right, uh, um, uh, check us out. Hit us up. Talk to us. DM me. Speak to me. <laughs> ITY at directionsandmusic.org if you want you to know ITY. Us. Just just ITY. Oh, uh, just, just the just the ITY. So no you in music.org. No you in and, and no you and I T Y. Yeah. Just, so there's no you in. There's no <laughs> UN. We don't need the UN. I T Y. That makes only. It, un, it would be un ITY. Un but that would be very us. I mean, I'm all about anyway. unity, but it, then it would be un ITY, which may be what that would be a derivation on the name of Green Room because it's well, not. But we don't own the. We don't. It, it's God's Beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's unity, man. It's for everyone. Oh, yeah, right, we, we definitely. All right, cool. As uh, usual. Yeah, no. Hey, uh, be good to yourself. Be good to everyone else. Much love. Peace. Peace. Peace.